Hello, my name is Nanowave, and welcome to version 1.0.1 of Nanomod. This version is not adding any major content, just a couple of very minor changes to um, the way that the mod operates. For starters, there has been some balancing to the reclaiming enchantment. Um, villagers will no longer be able to sell the reclaiming enchantment. Also, um, there's been a uh, little balance to it. It is still compatible with Unbreaking and Mending, but now when the tool breaks, it will only be restored to one-third of its durability. So why did I make these changes specifically? Early game reclaiming is um, really handy because it gives your tool that much extra durability, but later on in the game, it becomes more of a hassle than anything now because you can't reliably get it from anywhere. You can only get it from like fishing loot and enchanting and finding it in dungeons or something. So it's more of a liability thing later on in the game where it's like, oh, this is good to have in case I'm not paying attention to my tool's durability and I accidentally break it. Whereas early game, it is useful as an extra buffer of durability. Anyway, the next change is ornate stone and deep slate bricks are now crafted with some glowstone dust as well as lapis. So the reason for that is because um, bookshelves encourage the player to interact with a lot of different aspects of the game. That being animal farming with leather and crop farming with sugarcane and chopping down trees for the wood. And now um, their alternative, the ornate bricks, encourage that too. It encourages mining through getting lapis lazuli and exploring the nether, or killing a bunch of witches through glowstone. And it also glows in the dark, so uh, let's make it nighttime real quick. As you can see, it gives off a light level of 8. Our next change is hollow logs. If they're facing upwards and there's no block obstructing them and they have a solid block underneath them, when it's raining, they will fill with water. So it happened pretty much instantly there because I increased uh, the random tick speed, as you can see from all of this shelf fungus growing everywhere. So yeah, um, these will fill with water when it's raining now. And the last change is shelf fungus now has a use. So in a furnace, it will smelt four items as a fuel, and it can be smelted into leather. However, it can only be smelted in a smoker and a campfire, and it takes uh, 10 seconds in a smoker to be smelted, and it takes 45 seconds in a campfire to be smelted. So now there's an alternative way of getting leather, and leather is pretty easy to fully automate now. So yeah, that's pretty much all that's new in 1.0.1. Thank you for watching. Download link is in the description. Once again, it is for Minecraft version 1.18.2, uh, Minecraft Forge, of course. Um, thank you all for your uh, overwhelming support on the last video. You guys gave a lot of really awesome feedback in the comments, and as you can see, some of that feedback did make its way into this new minor update. So if you want to continue giving feedback, um, join my Discord. It's in the description. And we'd be happy to have you. So yeah, hop in the Discord, download the mod in the description. I'll see you guys in the next update, which will be adding new content instead of just changing things.